From time to time, we see huge rafts or floating uh, bodies of the a rock called pumice in the ocean, especially around the uh, Asian countries in Japan and uh, South uh, West Asia, Southeast Asia, where from the space you can see it, this one. It is such a huge thing that you can see it easily from the space. And the source of it is this, an island uh, belonging to Japan called Fukutoko Okanawa. And this volcano sometimes is surfacing in the surface of the ocean. You can see it and sometimes it's not there. It's very strange in that sense, but when you know the mechanism of creation of this pumice from this uh, volcano, two little islands at the central cone, it becomes easier to understand. The high pressure and explosion of the hot magma into the seawater creates a lot of gas, and the gas creates bubbles that then in contact with the water, they freeze and create a very lightweight foamy material called pumice. Pumice means foam, practically. It's a rock foam. It can be floated and blocking all the seaports, damaging the ships. People have to collect them because it just stops them from using the resources near the sea. And when you collect it, they look like this. It's a very, uh, uh, you know, uh, widespreadly used uh, raw material in construction. The countries like Iran are famous for it because it forms where there was in the past some ocean, or at the present, some ocean. Tetis Ocean is in the almost centered on Iran and the Southwest Asia, and this is where we found most of the reserves, world reserves of the pumice. As a construction material, lightweight, it can be used as a you know kind of a load bearing material. Uh, it's tough. And this volcano erupts occasionally in Japan, appears to the surface. Huge rafts of the pumice are created, then disappears below the wave level it gets eroded away we don't see it for a while until the next eruption that it comes back